By now, you've probably seen the numbers or it's already hurting your wallet. Inflation hits a new record high. Consumer prices jumping more than 9% in June. The biggest increase in four decades. The cost of rent, gas, food, all of it going up. The big questions tonight, where is Central Florida getting hit the hardest? And how long will this trend continue? News 6's Lauren Cervantes is getting the facts from experts. An economist tells me the industry feeling the greatest impact of rising inflation is the housing market here in Central Florida. But he says the group that's hurting the most are those that are low income or on a fixed income. Well, you know, I think people, you know, uh, of uh, lower incomes or fixed incomes that don't have the ability to, you know, maybe work longer hours to bring in some more money, uh, that spend most of their money on those basic things that have gone up in price so much. Sean Snaith, an economics expert at the University of Central Florida, commenting on the group he says has been impacted the most by rising inflation. The latest report out today showing the consumer price index rose 9.1% in June. You know, I think it's, uh, it's also important to remember that this, this data is, uh, is a look in the rearview mirror. Uh, it's what transpired in June, and it's not necessarily reflective of what we've already seen uh, here in July, which has been a significant decline in the price of uh, gasoline. A good sign, Snaith says, as we look ahead. But he tells News 6 relief may not come for another 12 to 14 months. With many speculating we could be on the brink of a recession, Snaith says we're already in it. I do think we're in recession, uh, and we won't officially have that declaration for another year at least. But, uh, you know, people are struggling, households are struggling with uh, high food costs, high transportation costs, high shelter costs, rent and, and home prices. Uh, all of these three things represents two-thirds of the average consumer's budget have seen you know, minimum 10% inflation, sometimes much higher. And a recession is a period of time typically lasting several months in which there's a significant decline in economic activity. So uh, we're calling this the possible uh, recession because it's uh, like the shape of a possible. It's got a, long, a large bottom and shallow sides. So we're not plunging into recession the way we did in 2008 or, or 2020. Uh, but we're going to stay in this recession for a while. It's going to take a year to a year and a half for inflation to get back down to levels where, you know, the Fed is trying to see it, which is around that 2%. Snaith tells me specifically in Central Florida, we're feeling rising inflation in the housing market, saying that housing is in such short supply that it's driving the prices up and out of reach for most, turning many to renting. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.